popular brand Heinz is in hot water after a favorite condiment gets exposed online. I was just making my daughter a corn dog and I happened to notice something white in the ketchup bottle. Grocery store and homemade kombucha surprises customers. All across the U.S. and people are terrified the government has done nothing about this. Recent Red Lobster and Pizza Pizza orders go viral for the wrong reasons. And pre-packaged spinach leaves one TikTok user traumatized. In a video that went viral, the woman said she was so excited to eat her dinner until she made the sick discovery. Let's get into it. Our first story reveals that even food items that haven't changed in over 100 years can surprise customers in unimaginable and unappetizing ways. Heinz Ketchup, a tried, true, and dependable staple found in millions of refrigerators across America. It's a product families can count on, or so you would think. See, this October, one TikTok user noticed something floating in the signature red sauce. Y'all gotta watch out for this Heinz Ketchup, bro. Or, nothing, bro. or as TikToker Mrs. Rogers Hood, the internet self-proclaimed worm queen, put it. Nothing safe. Like, we, really? Unfortunately, it seems the TikTok user's experience wasn't so unique. Online, there have been similar reports involving Heinz as well as undisclosed ketchup brands throughout the years, whether it was a disturbing discovery at a university meal hall. Bro! Disgusting. Or an order of fries with a side of unadvertised protein. Back in 2016, one Twitter user even reached out to the source, complaining. At Heinz Ketchup underscore US, just ate a few worms with your great quality ketchup. Hashtag disgusted. And the brand actually replied, we're sorry that was your experience. Give us a chance to make it right. However, the link they provided didn't include a way for the poster that was located in India to register a complaint, and the interaction ended there. But are ketchup manufacturers really to blame? Well, maybe not. See, as various social media users have pointed out, these infestations are very possibly purchaser error. This could be as simple as an establishment not keeping track of their products. Ever wonder why health inspectors are so insistent everything be dated and rotated in the cooler? Exhibit A. The issue could reside in unsanitary machinery. Okay, if you work in a restaurant with a ketchup dispenser, please take it apart and clean it. Do this at least once a month. If you use bottles for sauces, do the same weekly. Inserts, daily. Cream-based, daily. Or it could be customers failing to do the one thing necessary to keep their condiment fresh after opening. Refrigerate it. Some of y'all don't know this, but you're supposed to keep your condiments in the fridge. Like even Parmesan. Read every label, I swear. After all, while some users theorize the tiny white organisms found in these incidents were worms, the prevailing theory was that customers who left their ketchup bottle open and out had unintentionally given fruit flies the perfect nest to lay their eggs. This means all it takes is for a ketchup bottle to be left open and unrefrigerated for a moment to become a target for the insects. However, one Reddit user that believed this had happened to them had a proactive approach to make sure this was a one-time only infestation. I think it was fruit flies laying eggs in the lid. I didn't do a good job keeping the lid clean, a mistake I will not be making again. But eggs aren't the only thing that might be floating somewhere inside a ketchup bottle. See, TikTok user Lacey typically posted content that revolved around her life RVing with her family. Yet, this October, she had something different to share with her followers. The mother was about to serve her daughters a corn dog with a side of ketchup. When she noticed something inside of the Heinz bottle she purchased from Walmart the previous month, through the red fluid, a white object was peeking through. Concerned, she decided to empty the bottle into the sink. It literally, to me, looks like pills. I'm freaking out. And she wouldn't have been the first to have this concern, as in 2021, a TikTok user suggested the same had happened to them. However, upon further inspection, the small balls suggested this ketchup might be less medical grade and more infested. And it soon became clear that Lacey wasn't dealing with medication either. With a butter knife, she further examined the objects. Here's one right here. Here's another one. They're all like the same color, shape, and size. However, 
With the smell of ketchup becoming too overwhelming, the only sense Lacey could rely on was touch, which shortly led to dissection. I don't know, like what the heck is this? My daughter has been eating this ketchup. It is not expired. Like, I see some more chunks in it. Look, there's another one. Without an answer, Lacey turned to her followers. Does anyone have any idea what this is? And to be fair, the comment section appeared to have some insight. It looks like beans. Heinz also makes beans love, so it's like a cross-contamination between the process of packaging. Pills would have definitely dissolved with the acid. Probably beans. Still contact. After Lacey washed the ketchup off of the white objects cut into them, it seemed viewers were probably correct. I feel like it probably is a bean after finding out that they do make something called beans on toast and maybe it was just cross-contaminated. Um, but still, like I feel like I have every right to have been freaked out by that. Still, Lacey contacted Walmart, the FDA, and Heinz, and the ketchup brand responded that this was very unusual and they would be launching an internal investigation. And while Heinz volunteered to send Lacey a new bottle of ketchup, it was safe to say that she wouldn't be taking them up on that offer anytime soon. Obviously, I'm not going to be buying from them again, so not going to be doing that. But Lacey likely wasn't the first victim of cross-contamination. A similar case involved a Redditor who found white chunks floating in an unopened bottle of Heinz, which commenters theorized were possibly onions, grease, sugar, or growth. Another Redditor found a long, ringed, unknown object in their unopened ketchup bottle, and despite the frightening appearance, it wasn't a parasite, bacteria, or calico critter-sized version of the sandworm from Dune. Nope, it was allegedly a cayenne pepper pod that wasn't properly ground into the condiment. But while not every foreign object in ketchup is cause for alarm, inform your grocer and request a refund, or contact the supplier, the company, and your local health authorities. After all, our second story proves you never really know what might be hiding in your products, just below the surface. See, while some items might be thrown out for bacteria, others are famous for it. For example, yogurt, kimchi, and other fermented foods are full of cultures that keep our gut microbiome in working order. But of all the bacteria-rich foods, none are as famous among the health conscious as a certain fizzy drink, kombucha. Yet recently, the beverage's popularity might be taking a dive thanks to a certain explosive claim. People are absolutely freaking out right now because we just found out there's worms in kombucha. Yep, social media has rung the alarm bells that proclaim when you take a sip of the soda alternative, you might be downing something else. Kombucha drinkers have been terrified to hear people have found these one to two millimeter long worms swimming around in their drink. And the other title for the creepy crawlies, well, it wasn't any more appetizing. Their technical name is vinegar eels. To be specific, they're Turbatrix acidi, a species of roundworm that can infest kombucha or raw and unpasteurized vinegar during the fermentation process where they feed off the drink's yeast and bacteria culture. And yes, this can include another health guru favorite, apple cider vinegar. But how can consumers tell if their kombucha or vinegar is infested? Well, as a video one TikTok user captured of a vinegar container at a famous chicken restaurant exposed, vinegar eels often clump at the most oxygen-rich part of the fluid, which happens to be near the top. And if you can't immediately see these organisms, you might want to take a closer look. So if you want to check if your kombucha has these little worms in it, here's what to do. You want to take your kombucha into a dark room and shine a flashlight through the side of the glass, and all of the eels are going to wiggle towards the light. But while consumers were already reportedly stepping into action, mass people have poured out their kombucha in fear of new diseases and in fear of these worms are a part of mosquito larvae and many other dangerous bugs. Was it possible this was an overreaction? Nah, because what the hell is America on? You're kidding. I'm literally drinking kombucha right now. You did not have to tell me this. Well, over the years, various kombucha home brewers have discovered these little guys wriggling around in their concoctions. As one Redditor wrote, Kombucha weirdness. I've made my fair share of kombucha over the years, and I've never seen anything like this. At first, I thought it was bubbles, but looking really close, I see little squiggly wormy things. However, the poster didn't seem dissuaded from the process. Adding, smells real good though. Still, TikToker Vegan Hacks Pod was here to soothe any worries. 
The internet is freaking out about tiny eels inside your kombucha. Vinegar eels. They really aren't eels. They're worms. Non-parasitic nematodes found in raw, unpasteurized vinegar. And these nematodes can be found anywhere from saltwater to desserts. They're also entirely safe to consume making them FDA-approved as part of the vinegar-making process. But despite concerns that these critters might infiltrate mass-produced brands of kombucha, it turns out that's highly unlikely to be the case. They're filtered out and not allowed in finished product on the store shelves. And they do not exist in properly brewed kombucha. So you can drink your bottled kombucha with confidence that there aren't any uninvited friends to spoil your pleasure. And while a small batch of homemade kombucha does put you at risk of spawning the critters. If you look really closely, especially like close to the light, you can see them swimming around and it's horrifying. There's millions of them in there. And once you see them, you can never unsee them and you can never go back. Sterilizing and properly cleaning your equipment can keep these eels from making your drink their home. Still, if your batch becomes infested, you might want to hold on to the drink, as vinegar eels make excellent fish food. As for people food, well, that's debatable. Then again, our third story proves no safety protocol can save hungry customers from the foibles of human error. It was October, and TikTok user Marquita was dining at a Red Lobster in Virginia, where she was ready to dig in. In front of her was a heaping bowl of the establishment's signature shrimp linguine alfredo, creamy, warm, and brimming with life? Yep, there wiggling around in between the noodles and prawns were tiny critters. What is that in my food at Red Lobster? Marquita captioned in the post. Snails? Well, snails were at least a delicacy, and unfortunately, when it came to what was inhibiting Marquita's plate, the comment section believed the TikTok user was in no such luck. Pretty sure that's fruit fly larvae, basically maggots, while others joked. Unlimited larvae. We have fruit fly larvae at home. Still, viewers questioned how this could have occurred, or as one user put it, if all of that was cooked in boiling water, slash sautéed in a hot pan, how the hell those got there? Well, an alleged former Red Lobster employee had a hunch. This happened to us, and we're all inside the parsley that were garnished on top of everything because it didn't get cleaned out. And while some viewers found bliss in their ignorance, if I'd known how many bugs I've eaten in my life, I'd simply pass away. Others had unfading alleged first-hand experiences when it came to the chain. Two years ago, I went to Red Lobster to eat and was sick in bed for over a month. I'll never go near another one again. I had a similar experience. LOL, they gave me a $60 gift card. LOL, like this isn't enough, but thanks, I guess. So what happened in Marquita's case? One user asked, I need an update because what did you do? Did you say anything? And Marquita replied, of course, I was in shock. Like, am I tripping? Then I called the waiter over, he looked, then called the manager over. But in Marquita's second update, it appeared the restaurant wasn't going to take what occurred as seriously as her comment section. The Red Lobster Where It Happened district manager called today, asking me to come back for another meal. I said, no, thank you. And I wanted to speak to someone higher up, please. At Red Lobster on social media said DM them. But nothing came from that either. Still, it's not just what might have been living in their orders that customers have to worry about as one TikTok user's recent experience at Canadian franchise Pizza Pizza made very clear. What's this? There's plastic here. The customer had discovered blue plastic wedged inside his pizza. As for where this material came from, well, Let's just say one employee had misplaced a pretty essential item. That's someone's glove. That's disgusting. But as one viewer pointed out, that wasn't just disgusting. Nope, that sir is a lawsuit. However, for others, the glove was strangely reassuring. Pizza Pizza is disgusting in general. But yeah, at least you know they use gloves. After all, this TikTok user apparently wasn't the first Pizza Pizza patron to leave the chain with a bad experience. Somebody in my city found a band-aid in their pizza from Pizza Pizza, Peterborough, Ontario. My brother literally found a glove, just one finger though, in his pizza too, also from Pizza Pizza. Still, not everyone was sold on the video, as one user asked, how did you know you should dig into the next slice to look for the glove? 
the original poster replied, Honestly, when I saw something blue sticking out, I knew I had to record, or else no one would believe me. However, one viewer offered an alternative answer. Because he took the pizza apart, placed the glove in there, assembled the pizza, then started recording. In an update, this disgruntled customer provided these skeptics with some literal receipts. Hey guys, a lot of people don't believe it was real, so here's my pizza pizza receipt for my order. There's the pizza pizza box, and I still have the pizza actually, because they, when I called them, they said to keep the pizza because someone was actually gonna come pick it up. You can still see the glove is actually still really inside the dough. However, when it came to Pizza Pizza's alleged request for the TikTok user to hold on to the product, nobody ever came to pick it up. All they offered me was credit or a refund so far. But if these stories aren't putting you in the mood for some home cooking, this next incident might make you reconsider. See, in October, TikTok user Simone Baker was in the process of curating what was sure to be a delicious, if not at least, Instagrammable pasta. There was penne for the base, chicken for protein, and spinach for some healthy greens. But little did Simone know how much green she would be getting when she poured the leaves into the pan. Yep, in the ready-to-eat pre-packaged spinach from Australian supermarket chain Woolworths, there was something that definitely didn't belong. A full frog. Tragically, the amphibian had already passed, and the comment section clearly wasn't full of practice mourners. One viewer commented, adding a French twist to it, to which Simone replied, Something like that. Another user asked, Can I make this without frog? Not really a fan. Simone wrote back, Of course, I'll post recipe soon. And one viewer commented, What's ending me is that he has sauce on him, so you must have stirred him in. Simone responded that what's ending her was that when she reached out to the supermarket chain, she was asked, Does the foreign body have any missing limbs? Another user reasoned that Woolworths probably wanted to know if other bags had been impacted. Simone replied with while she understood that she didn't exactly want to pull the thing out and give it a paparazzi moment. In a report from Yahoo Australia, a Woolworths spokesperson stated that after they spoke directly to the customer and investigated with their team and supplier as a priority, they were confident this was an isolated incident. Woolworths has stressed its produce faces rigorous quality checks. However, when it came to Simone's suffering, she was rewarded. And the woman said she was given $70 in compensation. As for how Simone is adjusting after the incident, well, according to a follow-up post, she's traumatized to ever eat spinach or pesto pasta again, an aversion no one can blame her for. So, from tainted ketchup, infested kombucha, kitchen gear and pizza, bugs at your favorite seafood restaurant, and pasta a la kermit, hopefully these incidents will make you take a second look at what you're consuming before you chow down. What do you think of these stories? Let us know in the comments below.